everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to... I mean, welcome to, in fact... Uh, Knights of Pen and Paper. This is, I think, the plus one version. Um, pardon the crazy letterboxing, but this game just runs like this. I think it may or may not... Oh, a TARDIS. Haha, <laughs> get it? Um, I think this game may or may not have been built for phones. So I know that you can make, like... This is like a D&D &D game, right? Special guest. Hinks. It's Goldberry. Grandma. Flowers. Hipster. E.T. Paris. Paris is a man's name, though. Oh, I guess like Paris Hilton. Rocker, little brother. Don't trust that. Jock, pizza guy, nerd. Uh, just a lot of generic stuff on. Okay, so class choices. We have paladin, warrior, rogue, mage, druid, cleric, witch. And back to the start. Let's let's put her here. I'll teach you how to play. So I don't actually know like much about this. I don't know if the, they're gonna like go in order, but. Oh, and it costs monies. I guess we'll do three. Okay. Is everyone ready? All character sheets are set up. Let's rock on. Is that your is your character from the future? Extra experience will be rewarded to those who are role playing. Set your difficulty of the game by increasing or decreasing the amount of watches you fight. Match begins now. As you wake up, you can hear the cold whispering of the wind. You can't remember anything that happened before. All you know is that you're a group of friends locked in a tower prison for no reason at all, and everyone's calling you assassins. While searching for a way out, you notice the prison bars have been broken by magic. Out of this place. As you leave the cell, you face some guards, clearly unhappy to see you there. Guard one. Hey, you're supposed to be inside the cell, not outside it. Don't want to get hurt, do you? Go back to your cell. You regret that? I'm not returning to that cage for no good reason. Guard three says, get back. Leave the prison. Don't need to kill all of them at once. You can battle as many monsters as you like until you reach the objective. Okay. Guard one. He's easy. So I... Oh. I can add more. So we need to kill at least two. So let's do one. Don't cheat. Okay, I don't know what these do all do. I assume this is a potion and chicken. Oh, chicken out, that's funny. Hammer. Cool. Done it, Fix, uh, 50 XP for party and one gold. I feel confident in doing three. Cheats won't help. Perhaps not. I'm aware that I'm splitting my damage up there. But I was hoping that she could crit that guy. Which did happen. We only have one. Okay, so we should save that. Victoire. Okay, we've now made up the gold we spent on getting him in. Update your character. Oh, damn. Hell yeah. Hmm. So she has a passive know-how. She has poison. Ooh. One extra damage. Or double strike. Costs one MP. This one seems pretty good. Just a normal... All right. Ooh, that's pretty good. Attacking him more seems like a good idea. And then a big heal. A better shield that costs MP. Let's do that. His MP isn't like great. Oh, it doesn't fill you up. 
Oh, the level fills you up, but this doesn't. Cleave. Hard skin. Strike. And taunt. Let's do that. Okay, so we have presumably a long rest. We have their inventory. We have that. Oh, and it's days. Sound the alarm. We have a situation on the second floor. Uh oh, the alarm. We should sneak past the next guards. Roll dice. You sneak past the other guards while everyone's too busy looking for you. As you reach the first level of the tower, the strange man's covered in a dark cloak is waiting for you on his horse drawn wagon. We should leave this place for now. Hurry up. Don't know who you are, but we we'll have to trust you. The strange guy rode with you to Default Village, where your venture is about to begin. Quest complete. Cool. Ah, and we could have done more fights. So what's in the shop? Snacks. Oh, pizza gives us goodies. Chips give us lifesteal. Drinks, milk, coffee, soda. A cocktail, damn. A Burger King crown. Holy Grail. Ooh. Only 12, huh? Hourglass. Minis. Oh, nice. Better tables. Snooka table. Wood table. 5 XP. More crit. Golden table. Oh, this is a uh, dungeon master from the from the D and D cartoon. Doctor Scientist. It's uh, the guy from the Back to the Future. Splinter. Blue Yoda. Police box. It looks like we got a couple of these randomly. Just on account of like. I bought the version of this game that has plus one on it. I'll I'll leave this here. Um Okay. Let's do a quest. Escort some elders, slay some rats, rescue a merchant. Let's collect a blood gemstone. The Enchanter says, I need some items from the Den of Devils. Could you head over there and provide me with some? Why not? We're kind of bored. We'll do it. Yes. Den of Devils. Okay. What does that mean? You found a grindstone. Ooh. Okay, let's do a battle. Ooh, we got bats, dark bats. Let's do four bats. I feel pretty good about a bat. Yeah, doing two to eight damage, that's pretty shway. See, look at that. Seven damage. Easy money. Reminds me of the old adage. You've got to get the cash and you've got to get the dough. high rolls. Feeling a tad demoralized when it comes to uh, recording stuff because I've been recording a lot of the same stuff recently. And like I've just been doing three really long uh, LPs. And so I'm doing this. This is like kind of a roguelike. I'm putting it in for tonight roguelikes unless it turns into a long LP. But here we got three levels. not do that. Uh, 
I like the idea of having more of that. I like the idea of stacking on that. Let's try a dark bat. Do one now. Oh, it's only level two. I'm actually doing pretty okay against it as well. You're such noobs, he says. Fuck you, DM. God, it hasn't been acceptable to say the word noob in like, I, think, I, I feel like 10 years. Oh, he's dead. That's a shame. I saw this. I saw that it's a pretty short game to beat. And I was like, hmm. Maybe it'll be fun. Oh, it's one gold to resurrect. Chanter says we help them. Cool. Honestly, getting more of this is is fun. I like it. It's fine. So can we put another person in? Special guest. Oh, Magica. Yeah, it's the guy from Magica. The game called that. Thanks. Are you like a streamer or something? Grandma? You're kind of cool. I think you make more sense to be... Ah, activate. Holy Grail. You can probably swing that, right? Eighty gold, damn. So I'm having fun with more people. Bread makes you fat. Oh, like Ramona flowers, of course. Duh. I guess a hipster cleric would be kind of fun. So yeah, it looks like you just get the ability to like make quests. It's kind of cool. Save the villagers and kill seven giant rats. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. See? That's an investment. It's ROI right there. I'm gonna pause it because this battle's gonna get a little clicky. All right, we're back in. So I can kind of tell that this is maybe almost supposed to be a phone game because like, I'm not doing anything with this hand, you know? It's just sitting on my desk or on my lap. Um, I, did some, I did some fighting off screen because I'm, I'm not really doing much. And, like, I enjoy, you know, playing games like this. Give me more threat. Thank you. Pizza guy's been plateauing. Damn. Yeah, like, there's just not that much going on here. It's pretty simple. I almost wish that I could, like, run this in the background, potentially with like an auto clicker or something. Uh, 
Oh, so this isn't really even like a create thing. It's more just they have. This kid asked me if I've seen my grandpa. Defeat the enemy waves and find grandpa. I think I maybe should have done this sooner. cool. So yeah, like, you can buy upgrades and you can get new stuff and like, it's all right. You know, it's a pretty good game. If it's cheap, you should get it. If you like what you're seeing. Cause like, it's perfectly fine. Yoo-hoo. Yeah, that's, I don't know about that. But says, thank you, I couldn't leave because the church was filled with monsters. Well, kid's happy. And the quest is complete. Cool. Check the tent, but you can't find him. Blackness says, oh boy. like the um the coin system is almost set up in a way for you to like have mini buys you know microtransactions luckily i'm starting to get some proper good physical attack so Particularly deep. It's all right. Um, I was almost expecting more of like a random generation, but like it looks like there is like a uh, like a story almost. Right. Guess we'll grab that. like using cleave. I love I love attacks that hit many things. Also this is convenient because it's healing me. But yeah, I almost wanna like I feel like maybe I should resist falling into the trap of that of that thing that I love to do in, in Darkest Dungeon. Where like I don't wanna I don't wanna like confirm the kill. I don't wanna actually like kill people. I'm just content to really lower their health so they can all be taken out in one fell swoop, but like, I don't need to have one fell swoop, I, I just need to have them be killed, you know? But there I go, doing it again. Um, I do, to some extent, intend to play more Darkest Dungeon at some point on the channel, because that game's really good, and I'm okay at it. The problem is that in the LP that I have right now, like, the, the rules state I have to be drinking heavily in order to play that game. Because the title of the LP is Drunkest Dungeon. Cool. Alright, should we get something else? Magical damage. And sleep them. more of that. Keep giving more health back to our friends. It's not as efficient as it could be on this boss.
pop some of that in. Ooh, big damage. Merchant says you did it. Now I can get back to work. Thanks. Let's roll that, huh? Like, Rogue just do more damage is... That's pretty good, right? Why wouldn't that be what I want? That one's pretty good. Let's grab that. Specialize a little more, you know? Can I hit the map and go wherever I want to? Farm Village. Goblin's Hideout. Sunset Castle. Why the roll for it? strange. Buy those. Buy those. Yeah, like, it's alright, you know? It's not a bad game. It's just that, like, you feel like it's almost made to be like a game for mini buys, you know? Where they want you to they want you to put in your some cash on it. Again, certainly all right. I just, I've almost run out of things to say. Like, this is definitely a good game to just, you know, play and, and do whatever on, but like, nice. I don't know. I just don't know what else I, I, I could be saying or doing about this game. It's all right. Um, should I even upload that as like a full episode? Maybe I'll do that as like a, uh, I don't know. Um, this has been Friday Night Roguelikes. Uh, it's all right. This show's never really intended to be like a review show, but like, eh, it's okay. Cool if you want to buy it. But yeah, the letterboxing is crazy, which is why it's this, because the game's only this big. So I have the cover of, o of ODST in the background because it's raining here right now, or should be soon. Um, but yeah, uh, that's, I really run dry of things to say. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, this has been, I guess, Friday Night Roguelikes, or maybe I'll upload this as like a side thing. Uh, but yeah, bye everyone. I've been Alfred, bye. <laughs>